Good morning friends. Today we are going to see simultaneous equations. I have as I have written it on the board. But before going to simultaneous equations, let us first see what do you mean by linear equations? Because unless and until your concept of linear equation is clear, you will not be able to understand simultaneous equations. So just see I am writing one equation. For example, x minus y is equal to 2 and I'm writing x plus y is equal to 14 okay now carefully observe these two equations in first equation how many variables you can see two variables one is x another is y in second equation how many variables can you see again we can see two one is x one is y, I mean other is y. So in these two equations, we have two variables. Now second important question, what is the degree of the variable in this case? X is having degree 1, only x is x raised to 1. Y is also only y means it is x raised to, y raised to 1. So in this both case, we have degree of the variable as 1 and we have two two variables. So such equations which have two variables and degree that means maximum power or index of the variable is one we call them as linear equations in two variables so this is linear equation because degree is one and because there are two variables we say linear equation in two variables now concentrate on these two equations this is equation one and this is equation 2. Now when we consider two such a linear equations at a time, then we call them as simultaneous equations. Both are having the same variable and we are considering both of them at a time. So when we have two linear equations, when we are thinking of two linear equations which are in two variables at the same time, then we call them as simultaneous equations. So these two linear equations we are considering at the same time, isn't it? And therefore they are called as simultaneous equations. Now there is one more concept. What do you mean by solution of the equations? Now what do you mean by solution? You tell me x minus y is equal to 2. How many pairs we can write? I mean what I mean to say is what is x is equal to and what is y is equal to such that their subtraction will give you answer to. In short, x should be greater and y should be smaller. You have so many solutions for this answer. Any two numbers whose subtraction is 2. How, much, how many numbers you can say? For example, uh, x is 4 and y is 2. While writing always, please use this notation. When we write in a bracket, you always write first x. Uh, variable and then you write the y variable. If I write 4 comma 2 that means here value of x is 4 and value of y is 2. So 4 minus 2 will give you 2. So this is the solution of this equation. Also I can have 2 minus 0. This also I will have as answer 2. Again I can have so many. For example 8 comma 6. Subtraction of these two is again 2. So like this n number of solutions I can have for this equation. Now let's think about this equation. This is related to equation 1 and this is related to equation 2. Now tell me two variables whose addition should be 14. So very simple how you can tell 10 and 4. This 2 gives 14. You can tell any, any numbers. For example you have uh, minus 2 is x and plus 16 is y. This 2 also if you add then again you get answer as 14. Then you have 13 comma 1 is also answer is 14 as well as you have 8 comma 6 is also giving the same answer. 8 plus 6 is 14. Now carefully observe these two solutions. We have 4 comma 2, 2 comma 2 comma 0. <clears throat> we have 10 comma 4 minus 2 comma plus 16. Then you have 13 comma 1, 8 comma 6. 8 comma 6 is common here also. 8 comma 6 is common here also. So these two equations are satisfied by the same unique solution. 
So what is common and unique solution for both of these equations? That is 8 comma 6. If I substitute 8 over here and 6 over here, subtraction is 2. 8 over here and 6 over here, addition is 14. So what I can write is 8 comma 6 is the common and unique solution of these simultaneous equations. So that is what we write after solving this simultaneous equation you write answer as 8 comma 6 isn't it. So what do you mean by uh, solution 8 comma 6 if we put these values in both the equations you are going to get uh, right hand side is equal to left hand side. So same number satisfies this equation also and this equation also. That is to say that 8 comma 6 is the solution of these simultaneous equations or these two linear equations. Now do not write this can't be written as 6 comma 8. This is completely wrong. Why? Because first will be x variable then will be y variable. You don't have problem by addition 6 plus 8 is also 14. But if I put 6 over here and I will write here minus 8 my answer will be minus 2. So this is not a common solution for uh, both the equations. I hope you have understood. Now let us go back to simultaneous equations. Let us see now how to solve this simultaneous equations. Now see <clears throat> in this case these equations are very simple. Isn't it? I can immediately tell subtraction of any two numbers whose answer is 2. Addition of two numbers whose answer is 14. I will write a few uh, pairs and then I will find out what is common in them. But if the equation given are little complex for example 3x plus 2y is equal to 14 and here you have 5x plus 3y is equal to 21. Now can you at one instant can you tell what is the common solution for both these equations? No it is not possible. It is not as easy as this too. So let us find out, find out proper method as to how to solve this simultaneous equations. So let us see how to solve the simultaneous equations. So to solve simultaneous equations primarily at first level that uh, you have seen in 9th standard also we have basically two methods. So first method is called as elimination method. Elimination method. And second is called as substitution method. Substitution method. Alright. Now in 10th standard we, you have two more methods that we will discuss afterwards. But first let us understand these two. Sim elimination method and substitution method. So first let us concentrate on elimination. Word it itself tells you the meaning. What do you mean by elimination? Eliminate means is to cut it off. Eliminate one variable. Out of these two you have to eliminate one variable. So first we will concentrate on this and then we will go for substitution. Now see look at these two equations very carefully. I want to eliminate either x or y. What should I be doing? In case of operations or what operations should I uh, do on these two equations so that one of the variable I am getting rid of? Either subtraction or addition are two options which what we can do. So if I add these two automatically y and y will get cancelled. I will be able to eliminate y if I add these two equations. Or if I subtract these two equations, then minus and plus will become minus. So minus minus having same sign, but here x is having plus and this x will have minus sign. So if I subtract, xx will get cancelled. So you can either go for addition or you go for subtraction. It becomes one and the same. So let us add these two variables. I am adding equation 1 and 2. So let us add x minus y is equal to 2 and x plus y is equal to 14. We are going to add this. Now while adding put your plus sign because there is addition the signs will not be changed. Alright please be careful. While doing subtraction you need to change the signs. That also we will see. Okay. Now tell x plus x will be 2x like terms get added plus y minus y. So y minus y here we are going to get 0 which is equal to 14 plus 2 is what? 16. So in short what we have 2x is equal to 16 or x is equal to 16 upon 2 which is equal to 8. Is it clear everybody?
body so we got x value as 8 that is what we got earlier also when we guessed or do it mentally so we got x is equal to 8 now after getting x is equal to 8 how to find y value very easy substitute this x value in any of this equation so we have to substitute value of x in either of this equations so either you substitute in 1 or you substitute in 2 so let us take x first equation x minus y is equal to 2 now we are, we are going to substitute so we will write here substituting x is equal to 8 in equation 1 this is equation 1 so what are we going to get put x is equal to 8 over here so we have 8 minus y is equal to 2 now take this y that side and get this to this side. So minus y after taking that side it will become plus y. So and this plus 2 when it is coming to this side you will have minus 2 which is equal to y. So 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 is equal to y that is y is equal to 6. So we got two answers or solutions. First we got x is equal to 8 y is equal to 6. So at the end how will we, how will we write the solution of this question so we are going to write answer always write first x coordinate so what we got x 8 and then we have y so this is our answer what do you mean by solution of these two equations these two values are going to satisfy both the equations at a time you see substitute x over here and y over here you will get a 2 Substitute x over here, y is equal to 6, you will get answer 14. Here is subtraction and there is addition. So first elimination. But we did what? Addition. Now let us try same while doing subtraction. See, we can subtract also. Provided what you have to see in this method, coefficients of x and y should be same. Then you can directly add or subtract. See, no coefficient of either should be same. Here both are having same coefficients so absolutely no problem. What I mean by coefficient is x is 1x. Here also x is 1x. y is 1y. Here also y is 1y. So both the x coordinates are same. Both the y coordinates are same. Then only then or either. Either one should have same coordinate. Either x coordinate should be same or y coordinate should be same. We can go for addition and subtraction. So it depends upon after doing which operation we are going to eliminate the a variable now in this case because both are having one one we can use either or so now i'll show you how to do subtraction also subtract equation one from two one from two that means two minus one we are going to do so what is equation two it is x plus y is equal to 14 now see be careful with minus sign because signs are going to change keep some space to change the signs what we have x minus y is equal to 2 now we are going to subtract this is having plus sign so this plus sign will change into minus this minus sign will change into plus only 2 is plus 2 so this plus 2 will change into minus okay now don't consider this sign we have already changed the signs x minus x will be 0 y 1y plus 1y will be plus 2y which is equal to 14 minus 2. Take this changed signs. 14 minus 2 is 12. So we have 2y is equal to 12. So y will be equal to 12 upon 2. Which is equal to 6. So we got it while doing subtraction also. So we got the solution. Y is equal to 6. Again same. Substitute this y in any of the equation. First we have substituted in uh, first equation. Now I will show you substituting in second equation so now substitute substitute x uh, we got y y is equal to 6 in equation 2 now see what we will get x plus y is equal to 14 what we have y 6 so x plus 6 is equal to 14 so what is x x is 14 minus 6 which is equal to 8. So again what is the answer? Answer is write first always x coordinate 8 comma 6. I hope uh, this first method of elimination is clear. 
when we did addition we eliminated y when we did subtraction we eliminated x now let us go for second method and that is substitution method substitution method <clears throat> okay now let us go for substitution substitution method now in elimination method i use the word substitution that is after finding one uh, value of one coordinate i am substituting it into either of this equation that substitution is different this is substitution method is completely another method now what to do in substitution method you find the value of one variable in terms of other c for example x is equal to if i take y this side what i will get 2 plus y so i got value of x in terms of y so for x what i will write 2 plus y that is x so once we get x is equal to 2 plus y wherever there is x you can put this value and you will get the answer all right now let us try with this we have x plus y is equal to 14 so what we have x is equal to here 2 plus y so for x what i will write 2 plus y this is x now this plus sign over here and again i am writing y is equal to 14 so for x what i have written 2 plus y that is what we got over here are you understanding okay uh, one thing you have to keep in mind if you are using this equation to find the value of x after getting value of x you substitute that x value in other equation okay fine now what you have 2 plus 1y plus 1y open the bracket there is only a plus sign in between so we will have 2 plus y plus y is equal to 14 i have opened the bracket now 2 plus 1y plus 1y becomes 2y which is equal to 14 so 2y is equal to 14 take to that side it will be 14 minus 2 which is equal to 12 so what we got 2y is equal to 12 or y is equal to 12 upon 2 so y is equal to Six. Okay, understood. We got y is equal to six. Now again, what is the next step? Substitute this y is equal to six in either of these equations. So let us keep this equation only, and we will substitute y is equal to six. We have already found what is x. What is x? X is equal to two plus y. That is what we have found out. Now just substitute this y is equal to six over here. We'll get x. X is equal to two plus what is y? We got six. So x will be equal to eight. Again, we have the same solution. What will be your answer? First x coordinate. Then you will have y coordinate. So this is the solution of simultaneous equations. I hope the concept is clear. Hmm. So how many methods we have seen? First we saw what is linear equation. Then we saw what is what are simultaneous equations. and then we have seen what do you mean by solution of simultaneous equation and how to solve the simultaneous equations so solving how many methods we have seen two methods first was yes elimination and second was substitution so you can go by other methods also in next lecture we will see little complicated examples related to this where you have to uh, do some process and then add and subtract till now uh, i think we'll stop over here thank you